Hello everybody and welcome back to a new Space Engineers video. So in today's video, I want to be covering a topic which has already been covered quite a lot, but I thought I'd give my own take on it. I um, had a comment recently of someone asking about it and I thought other people might not be as vocal um, and might find it useful. So uh, we're here on my Elysium supply station. This is part of the LKF collection. Go check it out. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you how to build a simple rotor turret in Space Engineers. This is a function that was added in the Warfare 2 update. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a large grid advanced rotor. Now this is because the advanced rotor uh, compared to the normal rotor has a conveyor port on the bottom which is extremely useful um, and we're going to just place it down here like so. Next thing we're going to do is delete the head like that. So leave the rotor, just delete the top part, they are actually two separate grids. Um, then head into the control panel of the grid that the rotor is attached to. Find the rotor, click on it and then click add small head. This will then add a small grid rotor head. So this is where you can then build um, the turret from. So from here, really, you can do pretty much whatever you like, um, provided it has a conveyor connection. So um, just a real simple one. Um, just have a think here. We just do something like this. Um, don't need to go up that high, actually. We do a hinge. I'll do another block, actually, and we're going to put a hinge. So you do need a hinge or some form of elevation function, um, which you can also do uh, with a sideways rotor. And then we're going to put a T-junction here. Actually, I might put a uh, regular junction. And then the optional extras are obviously a camera and guns, but it, it sort of does help to have guns on a turret. Um, so we're going to do Gatling guns because why not? So place them on. And I think you get the idea. So this will twist it, or azimuth, and then this will be the elevation hinge here. Um, the next thing we need to do is add a turret controller. Now this can be either on the large grid, or you can attach it directly to the turret itself. Um, I'm going to attach it straight to the turret actually. Don't normally do it, but it will just save us a little bit of time here. Then you just want to go into the control panel of the turret controller. Azimuth rotor, select the advanced, the large advanced rotor that you placed. Elevation rotor, select the hinge. Camera, select the camera that you placed on. It can be helpful to name these. Um, and then add in the Warfare Gatling guns. Now to control the turret, you can just grab a seat. Go to the turret controller. You can actually add it to the G menu um, and click control. And I have control of your turret. And you can actually exit out um, and still control it. As you can see. Now you might have something like I do where I've actually got this inverted. So if I move my mouse down, it moves it up. Um, you can actually fix this quite easily. Just go back to the thing here. Um, and then elevation, velocity, multiplier. Um, just change that to negative whatever value it was before. So in this case, negative 18. Um, and then it works correctly. And there you have a very, very basic um, small grid custom turret. You can also do this with large grid as well. Um, but I feel like most people are doing it with small grid. You can actually place blocks on this if you so wish. Just be careful not to get in the way of the um, hinge because it does get a little bit messy if you start to get in the way of the hinge. Um, so you can get away with certain things. Really, you'll just have to play with it to figure out what you can get away with. Um, but it sort of tends to, to depend on the mood that Essie's in at the, at the time. To be honest, <laughs> so you just do some some basic. Um, I'm just gonna do a really quick basic. I've only got a couple blocks here. Some sort of armor. Um, I don't know. You, you you get the gist. You can make it look pretty. 
Um, I'll just give you another showcase. There you go. I'll show you a few examples now of some custom turrets on other ships that might give you a little bit of inspiration. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. So I did some quick touches to the, uh, the little turret we built earlier. Um, just thought I'd spend a, a minute on it, make it look not like an eyesore. Put some heats in the heat vents in the back, in a nice blue tone, um, and then put some some grates around it. As you can still see, it's still fully functional. Um, but it just sort of, I don't know, looks nicer. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at some examples of custom turrets on ships on the workshop. I'm using ships that I'm familiar with, so I can explain it a little better. So here is my Falcon class gunship LKF collection. On the ventral and dorsal side, we have a pair of these auto cannon flak turrets. So these actually use the large small grid rotor head um, and then a large small grid hinge head so there's you'll quickly figure out there's many different combinations you can make um, in terms of sizes for a turret here um, and then this is attached to a pair of auto cannons at the front and then it has like a basic um, grated window thing this is the talos by myself omega reaver and yoshi um, and then here we have the turret um, custom turret pairs Gatling to repair things we have. Uh, so these are actually again on an advanced rotor with a large small grid hinge and then the small small grid hinge head attached to a pair of Gatling guns um, and this doesn't actually have a camera so these are actually AI ones so another thing you can do is actually use the AI to pilot the turrets you can do that through here enable AI on or off um, and then you have similar to the Gatlin and missile turrets you have all these different settings here um, you can set it to target a specific um, system class as well which is pretty cool another thing about these is they just have a little bit of armor shielding um, something you may want to consider is the custom turrets are typically a lot harder to fix and repair um, especially in survival so that's definitely something to, to keep in mind um, however they can be a lot more deadly um, and take up a lot less room relative to other turrets. Here's Reaver's uh, station defense vessel that he built for the previous video which was actually the um, build challenge and here he has a six barrel auto cannon heavy flak turret um, and as you can see this has a large small grid hinge head and then a large small grid um, rotor head and then a large grid advanced rotor there so that's another different combination as well uh, this obviously has six auto cannons so this is a very deadly turret um, along with a lot more armor so it can take a bit more of a hit um, and then finally another interesting variation i have on my or orange gunboat um, which i built for i think it was a, a challenge i can't remember um, but this is a, an auto cannon turret um, and this is using a advanced rotor onto a large small grid um rotor head and then a large small grid hinge onto a large small grid hinge head and then I actually use a connector here uh, just to get the the connection points just thought it'd be a bit easier um, and it also has quite a bit of HP um, that's my phone my bad just gonna turn that off um, so yeah that's another variation so a common variation you're gonna see um, is a ball turret and just to teach you how to solve a ball turret really quickly um, is like this so you want to get a hinge obviously you want to have a rotor underneath this um, delete much like we did with the the rotor delete the large hinge head then get a small grid one you actually need to get a small grid small hinge um, give me a second here this one so just the hinge part um, and then you actually need to place it like literally like place it in the middle here and there you go um so the best way to do it is to just place a block on top of it um and then it doesn't look like it but th these are actually connected now and conveyed which is a bit goofy but um <laughs> If we now spin this around, you can see um, in the background there, 
these are attached um, and that's quite a popular way to do it um, if I show you just an example of one of the ball turrets here um, on my Osiris frigate this is just to give you an idea of what you can do with, with the sort of ball turret setup i just paste this in somewhere it's upside down yeah so here's a six barrel Gatling turret with the ball turret basically all this is is that small head in the middle um, and then you just wrap the small grid conveyors around it pull them out to the front I can actually sort of dissect it a little bit here for you um, and stick some Gatling turrets on if I just take away all the blocks you can actually see the meat and the bones of how this thing works that's the tree it very simple um, and another one I have a cannon turret here so very similar again except it's got two um, assault cannons opposed to the six barreled um, sort of point defense gun there's another one here so yeah that's just a, a little bit of an idea of some some basic custom turret designs um, as well as a little tutorial on how to make them. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and I'm sure there's other people in the community that would help. Please keep in mind, this is a basic guide. Obviously, there's a lot more you can do with this. You can make cranes and stuff as well. Um, I may make a more advanced guide in the future. Um, but for now, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. And as always, take care, everybody.